Hello guys, today's video is about Jade Harvester. I finally completed Jade Harvester um, a couple of days ago, and guys, it is absolutely crazy. It's fucking insane. Right, let's just quickly go over the build first. Uh, it's all about dots in this build, so Locust Storm Pestilence, absolute must. It just sticks a, a massive dot on the, all the enemies, 1,040 weapon damage in 8 seconds. It spreads like crazy. Which is great. So in conjunction with the Hodru wrap, local storm also slows enemies by 80%. So straight away gives you a lot of control. You need some control in this build. Uh, haunt Reventable Spirits. I use Haunt Reventable Spirits because it gives you two spirits instead of one. It does 4,000 weapon damage cold over 12 seconds. This is your bread and butter. This is what's going to give you the massive, massive damage on your targets. And uh, it's cold, so you want to stack as much cold in your suit as possible. I'm using Stone of Jordan, Strong Arm Braces, and... It's amazing counter students come. I'm so happy with this. It's crazy. Okay, uh, Soul Harvest, Vengeful Spirit. Uh, there's a few green choices, but I, I believe this is the best bet. This one here. This is the best one for the extra damage. This is what triggers all the damage in the build. You click this, and boom, it sets off all your dots into one massive nuke. <laughs> Enemies must be present within the AoE of this spell for damage damage to go off. Uh, Piranha's Piranha Nado uh, for the 50% increased damage with uh, in, in conjunction with Creeping Death this lasts 5 minutes so you know it works really well same for all these dots this dot will last for 5 minutes as well this dot will last for 5 minutes as well Spirit Walk on I guess just in case I need the power um, but to be honest I think we'll be fine as we are uh, so uh, yeah, honest guess uh, some zombie dogs lifelink and you're thinking what are you, why are you using dogs like you need some you need to be able to survive getting in close to the enemies guys when you apply your dots and stuff so some zombie dogs lifelink gives you 10% absorption which is great and what you do you use uh, the hurricane serpent mojo which has been changed in the patch and uh, it goes up to 30% damage re um, redirected to your zombie dogs so you just cast your dogs and boom you're really tanky it's very, very. It's quite important to be quite tanky on this build. Lots of vit and stuff. Okay, we are using Pierce the Vow for the flat-out massive 20% damage increase. Absolutely essential. Like I said earlier, Creeping Death makes all your dots last for five minutes. Because it makes it last for five minutes, it raises the total damage of the dots. So when you instantly trigger uh, Soul Harvest, it consumes all the dot damage for five minutes and blows them up. That's what makes it so, so, so strong. Okay, uh, using Spirit Vessel for the self res, but most importantly is for the um, the two seconds of Soul Harvest and Spirit Walk. It's a very, very important spell because you want to be able to have this on cooldown as quick as possible. And also, Grave Injustice every time you kill an enemy, it's going to refresh all your spells, especially Vengeful Spirit on Soul Harvest. So, this is this is very key to well. Okay, guys, gear obviously, you want full jade, man. You want absolute full jade apart from the helm. You don't, you don't want the helm, you want to use the Quetzalcoatl. The Quetzalcoatl now deal their damage in half the normal duration. This is absolutely key to the build. Absolutely key to it. You must have this helm to make it. You can just use the normal Jade helm if you don't have the Royal Ring of Grandeur, but it won't be nowhere near as effective, especially in T6 farming. Okay, uh, for this build, guys, um, I'm using the Mad Monarch Scepter. You do not need no attack speed in this build. You want no attack speed at all. Attack speed does not benefit this build whatsoever you just want crit chance and critical hit damage across the whole board and you want a weapon that hits really really hard as you see the white diamond there this one this is a 2.2k almost a 2.3k dps mad violence so it's a quite a decent roll uh, i'm not saying you have to use this weapon this is just my personal preference at the moment but as you see that white number there one two one six two nine to two two oh three that's the number you're looking for okay you want that to be high as possible ideally you want a mace you want a mace, guys, or what something like this, like a sun keeper for elite packs, and just switching it in. But for general fine, you want this. You always want to use an emerald in your item as well. And I really like this Mad Monarch server because, actually, because the nature of the build, um, you're very close to killing mobs, and as they die, it sets off the proc on the Mad Monarch scepter, which hits really goddamn harm hard as well. After killing ten enemies, release a poison that deals 1,300 weapon damage poison within 30 yards, so you get another AOE. Yeah, it's great. It's really good fun. It's very very cool. Okay, so, uh, yeah, across your Jade stuff, you do not want attack speed. You just want crit chance and critical hit damage across the board. Uh, make sure you've got your Vit rolls in your chest plate and your shoulders. Snack Haunt damage or Locust on Pestilence, depends what, you're, uh, what you want to snack. At the moment, though, um, Haunt and Locust on Pestilence does not work in Jade at the moment. But to be honest, it doesn't even need it. I've seen five to 700 mil blasts out of this thing. It's just insta-kill stuff on the T6. It's crazy. But um, you might as well do it now, though. 
So stick haunt damage or locust storm damage, depends on which way you want to go. I suggest haunt for the damage though, in your shoulders, uh, chest plate, and mojo. I've, I've yet to do my mojo and chest plate because I've run out of material, <laughs> as usual. You're not know, work on light like, guys, I'm always running out of material. So uh, yeah, put your haunt damage across these three pieces here, or locust storm, depends which way you want to go. Uh, for the amulet, you need cold damage or poison damage, depends which way you want to go. I've gone for cold because I'm doing haunt. So I've got this amazing countless gem with perfect CC. And almost a really decent uh, CHD as well. I'm using strong arm braces, guys, for the cold damage. Make sure it's got the VIP roll in there. I'm using Stoden Jordan for the extra elite damage. And make sure it's got CHD in there as well, or CC. Uh, I am using the Hoju Wrap in conjunction with uh, Locust on Pestilence. It gives you a lot of control over the map. Cast this once. Everything's snared up. And uh, this is a fantastic belt. It really gives you a lot of... Uh, EHP, so very, very nice. Lots of, lots of toughness. Uh, jade legs there. I was really happy with these jade legs. These are really good. And uh, my jade boots and, uh, and the gloves. I've got some new gloves, actually, that I need to re-roll, but uh, I've run out of material, <laughs> as usual. Uh, guys, if you're after the Ring of Grandeur as well, my one here is not ideal. It's got attack speed instead of CC, so I need to, I need to uh, get a new one. But overall, it's great. I'd also, guys, uh, you need a, a socket in your Quetzal coat as well. I mucked up on this one. So I need to find a new one, which is a shame because this is like top end. But uh, ideally, you want to socket in your credit coat and stick a diamond in there for the cooldown reduction. Okay, in the Paragon points, uh, just got movement speed and intelligence as usual. Uh, in offense, got nothing in attack speed. It's all cooldown reduction for soul harvest and a CHD and CC. In defense, it's got life and life regen, and the usual little bit in the life, uh, in the all resistance and uh, area damage because the dots can uh, spread with the error damage as well and do even more DPS and life on hit and of course resource recursion. Okay, let's uh, show this in the uh, action guys. Keep an eye on your dogs, very important to keep your dogs up at all times as well. So let's just go to, um, let's go to Fields of Misery I think. Let's Fields of Misery. It's pretty good density out here. Okay, so the way it works is, um, also guys, though, um, the reason why I'm using strong arm braces is when you use Prolana Nado, when you cast it, as the mobs get sucked into it, that is classed as a knockback, and it will, inc and it will uh, set off that extra damage, that extra 29% more damage as well. That's the reason why I've got strong arm braces, by the way. Okay, let's go find some mobs. Okay, so you got to do, you just harvest them up. Dots alone is going to wreck. Okay, so what you do, we got to do is just bunch them up like that. And then you just hit so hard, it's boom, and everything dies. <laughs> oh my god, it's absolutely crazy. So, well, you get, 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 make sure you got your dots applied, and just hit so hard, it's boom, and everything fucking dies. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> uh, boom! <laughs> oh my fucking god. Uh, boom! And, oh, it's just, it's just absolutely crazy, guys. Is absolutely filth. So the proper rotation is prime on Nado, then your poison, then you stick all your haunt dots, haunts on them, and you just you just lower them basically. You just lower them. It's it's just fucking crazy. Absolutely crazy. Okay, so let's, let's go find some more mobs. This is actually pretty fun to be honest. Let's find some more mobs. Like I said, though, keep an eye on your dogs. You need to keep your dogs up. It's very very important to have your dogs up. I've got an elite pack, excellent. Okay, just haunt them up. We've got pestilence and boom! Boom, you bastards! Elite pack down! <laughs> oh my god, oh, whoa, 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 a bit low, a bit low. Pick up those globes. And boom! With the down. It's absolutely filth, guys. Oh, shit, I'm dying a bit now because my dogs are down. That's, that's my bad. Is that a double leap pack? Oh, no, that wasn't double. No, that wasn't double loop. What do you think, guys? Is is pretty filth. It is pretty filthy. Oh, diamond, nice. It's pretty filthy. Just uh, use that prime on Nado, suck them up, and bam, just blow them up. That big A O green A O E guys you can see going off is the Mad Monarch Scepter. That's that bit. That's a big A O E going off right there. It's very, very, very fun. Very fun. Okay, let me just skip over here. So we've got a load of mobs now, you suck them in, you throw a few haunts in there, and... Oh, they're fucking dead! <laughs> they're fucking dead! <laughs> oh my god, it's going bang! Guys, this set is so strong, it's absolutely... It's just filthy. It is absolute filth. 
even the dots, the standard dots, like eight mil ticks, nine mil ticks. You know what I mean? It's it's absolutely it's absolutely incredible. Right, let's quickly spawn up an elite pack, guys. I'm going to show you this uh, against an elite pack with a uh, Sunkeeper. Right, let's switch to uh, Sunkeeper now for just for the elite damage. Uh, we we'll go to our usual spot in Act Four, which is here. We're seven elite pack. Oh, there's a chest there. Nice. Yeah. Oh, Topaz, I need that. Shit. Oh, no, sorry, I need the Topaz's man. I've run loaded him. Right, let's go spawn up our. Um... <laughs> Fuck it. Let's go, sp let's go spawn elite, man. Right. Okay, spawn elite, man. So let's do this. Uh, okay, let's just spawn this up. Boom. So you suck him in, you use a pestilence. Make sure you get Haunt on and you go BOOM! <laughs> and they're dead. The power of Jade Harvest, guys, is incredible. It's absolutely incredible. We just insta killed a T6 Elite pack. Well, we just, we just killed it instantly. I didn't even see the damage, man. That didn't even show. It does not show yellow numbers, by the way, it shows white numbers. But, uh, yeah, so all was left of this leap pack was his boots. <laughs> he just leaves his boots on the floor. There you go, guys. Jade Harvester, guys, what do you think? It's absolutely incredible. It's absolutely incredible. But you really need this with zombie dogs, though, to survive. All the being in close. Let's quickly show you my stats. Uh, okay, uh, crit chance is 46, and CHD is 3388, uh, which is okay. Uh, quite a good all res. And elite damage is at uh, what does it mean? Elite damage, uh, bonus elite damage at the moment is seventy-seven percent, but generally it's uh, twenty-eight. Probably. So you go, guys. That's how you do. So basically, once you find an elite pack, you just sw swap in Sunkeeper. It doesn't have to be a particularly good Sunkeeper. It's about the elite damage, and you just go boom. You just go pow. The elites just go bam. You're fucking dead. You're little gibby bits over the floor. And there you go, guys. Jade Harvester man. Once you get this thing, all we left is the fucking Elite's boots on the floor, smoking. It's a great, great build. There you go, guys. That is Jade Harvester, man. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you find it useful. As usual, guys, please like and subscribe. If you've got any comments, well, stick them down soon, guys. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty fun. It's very, very fun. Jade Harvester, guys. Boom! Nice! See you guys soon. Cheers. Bye-bye. Jesus, man. OP.